Welcome back, Curl Squad. It's your girl, Curly Carter, coming back to you with another video. So in today's tutorial, I am making the commitment to locks. So I'm going to be installing my own locks. I don't watch a million and one lock starter lock tutorials on the best way to go about installing locks into my hair. Um, and shout out to everybody who's made those videos. But I want to take you guys on a on a journey with me to finally lock it up. So if you're interested in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe because of course I'm going to post about my lock journey. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. <laughs> So before we get started into this whole process, which I am super excited about, I just want to give you guys a little update on where my hair is. I had some twists in my hair. I took them out the other day, well, yesterday, and this is my hair. It's still dirty. I'm going to have to wash it and deep condition it before I install these locks, but this is what it is looking like. Thus far, I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the back. Had a little hang time. <laughs> but this is what it's looking like. Just want to give you guys kind of like a visual on how long my hair is. Um, I do know that my hair is a little shorter up front than in the back. But I'm sure once I install the locks, everything is probably going to shrink up to about this point. So let me go wash my hair and then I'll be back. So I am done washing my hair. I just have it wrapped up in this scarf, well, towel, and the shrinkage is real. But it is nice and clean. And moisturize and I am ready to start um, but before we start I just want to show you guys some of the things that I will be using um, I'm gonna be using this lock it up like gel it smells like candy this stuff is really smells like candy so hopefully this will do me some justice also, I have some oil, which is just a couple of essential oils that I mixed all together and just put in here. And then I will be using, of course, my spray bottle. I like this spray bottle because it gives a mist versus a spritz. So I like this just to keep my hair wet while I go through and twist. So I'm going to start on the back, work my way up. Oh, another thing I got was these clips from the um, beauty supply store. If I can get it open. Yeah, I got these clips from the beauty supply store. Two prongs. Um, it came in a package of 80. So that is what I'm going to be using. So sit back, relax, and watch me lock it up. Well, twist it up, and then it'll turn into locks. But you, you know what I mean. So as you can see, I have already started a good chunk of the back. I wanted to get my technique down and make sure my lines was crisp. That's why you can actually see in the background, I'm looking at the screen to make sure these parts are as straight as possible because I want a good foundation. So you're going to see me go in and clean up some parts and then start twisting.
but all of the back of my hair is done i have roughly no not roughly i do have 33 twists just in the back of my hair so i'm gonna twirl so you guys can see nice and juicy all right now let's jump on to the front that my parts are all set and cleaned up i'm ready to start my front um i just wanted to give you guys a little close-up of what i'm gonna do so what i've been doing is i'm twisting my hair down i'm putting all of this stuff on the base of my roots and then combing it through my hair but then i'm gonna twist down and then i'm gonna actually twist the base and then clip it away officially done I have a total of 73 yes 73 twists in my hair right now that'll eventually turn into locks I have 20 on this side 20 on this side and then I have 33 in the back I'm gonna just give you guys a little twirl I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. I'll probably let it dry overnight and then style it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna let it dry overnight. I'm gonna leave the clips in dry overnight, style it tomorrow, and then that'll be all she wrote. It will be the waiting process. So we'll be back. So this is the final product. I mean, I really did take my time to install these because I wanted a really good base. But I am so excited. So excited. Um, I just did some I, I YouTube how to do barrel twists. But I just did some barrel twists and then I just left the back out. So let me give you guys a little look at the back. So 
So if you made it to this part of the video, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but stick around. Don't forget to hit the bell button. Subscribe to my channel so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys later.